Hi everyone, my name is Caleb Durheim. I'm currently in the Cephas Success 4-H Club. I've been showing cheat my entire life and today I'm going to teach you guys how to select and also how to work your lambs to get them ready for fair. So we have four sheep I'm here today. You have a wide variety of lambs. You have some dorsets. You also have some ham crosses up there. And so with those lambs, you will have a very wide scale of weights. And so that lamb was born on the 26th. So your two middle lambs were born on the 24th and then your lamb on your right side was also born on the 26th of January. So up here we do have a wide variety of lambs. We're gonna go ahead and take this lamb here. So with this lamb, you do want him to have a nice big top down there. So you go ahead and feel for that. You go ahead and um, feel down the top like such. And so with this lamb, he does have a very nice top line in him. You also want them to go ahead and carry down their quarter. And so what I mean by that, um, you do want to check for that leg muscle um, right there. And so with that, judges really do like a um, big legged lamb. And so you also want a straight top line down your sheep. You also want to make sure your sheep is nice and long because a shorter bodied sheep will not have as much meat. And so with that, your meat does get you more money for your lambs. We're gonna go ahead and um, look at this lamb's front end. Uh, so with this lamb, he really does have a very nice front end. His front end's not super high but it's also not super low on him. So with this lamb, his chest floor is just about where you want it to be. This lamb also does have a really nice straight top line, um, which a judge really does want to see in your market lamb. So we're gonna go ahead and walk with this lamb here. So when a buyer or a judge is looking at your lamb on the move, they're, they're looking for many things. You want that lamb to go ahead and fill their holes. So what I mean by that, you want their back leg to go ahead and be where their front leg used to be. You also want that lamb to go ahead and keep a level top as he's walking. And so with this lamb, um, as you set him up, you do want to go ahead and get him set up a longer to go ahead and show off that long body that that lamb does have. So you want that lamb to go ahead and um, run uphill for you. And you also just want that lamb to go ahead and put all those pieces to work. And you also want that lamb to just be overall structurally put together correctly. And so with this lamb, um, he is a very good example of, of putting all those pieces together. Uh, so as you can see, this lamb does have a very nice top line. He also does have a big leg in him. So as you can see, he does carry that leg really well. He also does have a lot of bone dimension to him. So more bone equals more muscle. So we're also going to go ahead and look at his neck juncture. So he does have the nice L shape, which you want in that show lamb. For the one thing that I would go ahead and change about that lamb, I like to see him just have a tits more muscle right there. But overall, a very sound lamb all the way throughout and he should make a great show lamp.